A group of scientists in 1872, 15, and 16. After a century of discoveries, he made the greatest geographical discovery in history. This great secret of the Earth's sphere, which came to light, then shed light on the birth of a new science and the unraveling of many secrets like itself. The Mariana Trench was discovered by the Challenger expedition between 1872 and 1876. The Challenger expedition has an important place in history, because modern ocean science begins with this expedition. This expedition is the first to collect information about the characteristics of the oceans, the chemistry of ocean water, currents, living creatures in the ocean and ocean geology. British ships named HMS Challenger in various laboratory and scientific equipment containing 70.000 miles for four years with scientists and researchers from Kate First maps the depth of the ocean, discharge, and temperature maps are discovering new species, and they constitute approximately 4,000. One of the most important results of the Challenger expedition is, the discovery of the Mariana Trench, thought to be the deepest point on Earth. When Challenger reached the Western Pacific, it was noticed that this region was deeper than other places. An 8-kilometer long rope was released to measure the depth, but it was not enough. Tuesday. Thus, it was proved for the first time that the underwater is not flat. Following the story of the discovery of the Mariana Trench, in the early 1900s, to measure the depth of the pit, IDOT sonar, sound navigation and ranging, technology, which was used to determine the location of submarines in World War II, is preferred. With this method, sound waves are sent to the water. Sound waves hitting a certain surface are reflected and returned back. Thus, by looking at the time between the sending of sound waves and their return, the depth of the surface where the sound is reflected can be calculated decisively. In 1951, Challenger Deep, the deepest point of the Mariana Trench, was discovered. In honor of the ship's name, this point was named Challenger Deep. The Mariana Trench, the deepest known point on Earth, is located in the Pacific Ocean between Japan and Indonesia, southwest of the island of Guam and the Mariana Islands. The length of the Mariana Trench, which takes its name from the Mariana Islands, is 2,550 kilometers, and the width is 69 kilometers. Challenger Deep, the deepest point of the Mariana Trench, is located at the southern end of the pit. Its depth is 10,994 meters. This depth is the deepest point on Earth that has ever been measured. In order for it to come to life in a more tangible way in your eyes, 10,000 meters is almost the end of the troposphere and the height at which airplanes fly. Or, if Mount Everest, the highest mountain on Earth, 8,848 meters, started from the bottom of this pit, there would be another 2.1 kilometers of water mass above its summit. So how did the Mariana Trench form? The Mariana Trench was formed when the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Plate collided as a result of plate movements, and the Pacific Plate entered under the Philippine Plate. You may be wondering if there is life in the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth and in the ocean. Can you imagine the pressure at a depth of about 11 kilometers in the Mariana Trench? Exactly 1,086 bars. Isn't that crazy? But can he live alive in a pit with such high pressure? They thought that the answer to this question, which has been preoccupying scientists for years, was only at the bottom of the pit, and they decided to go to the bottom and find it. But this was not as easy as one might think. The amount of pressure at the bottom of the pit was exactly 1,000 times the pressure at the surface. This made the conditions difficult and at the same rate took the dive to dangerous heights. The Swiss scientist Auguste Picard designed the Trieste Bathyscaphe in 1953, in which diving will be carried out. The Trieste was a vehicle designed to withstand high pressure. Test dives and checks lasted seven years, Trieste was finally ready in January 1960. The names chosen for the dive were Jacques Picard, 
the son of the American Navy's deep sea explorer, Lieutenant Don Walsh, and Auguste Picard, the designer of Trieste. Trieste plunged into the Mariana Trench on January 23, 1960. The glass panel that provides visibility was supported by double glazing, one of these glasses was broken during the dive, and fortunately, the other glass remained intact, protecting the team from a terrible disaster. After four hours of diving, they successfully reached the bottom. The depth gauge showed 11,033 meters, confirming the sonar findings, and the mission was completed. The team set out to do more detailed research. A fish that the team saw at the bottom of the pit during the dive was a surprising proof of the existence of living creatures there. But how was this possible at such a high pressure? Since calcium can only be found dissolved under a pressure of 1086 bar, the bones of a vertebrate creature would literally collapse. For this reason, only creatures that have been able to adapt to this high pressure and are not fully vertebrate can survive in the Mariana Trench. One of the fish known to live at the deepest is Pseudoliparus amblystomopsis, which is also a species of snailfish. These fish, which live at 7,700 m and are also seen at 8,145 m, roam in groups in the environment they live in. In addition, during the descents to the Mariana Trench, rat tail species living at a point of 5,000 m, Single-celled xenophyophores exceeding 10 cm in size and giant amphipods about 20 cm tall around 6,000 m were discovered. We would like to remind you that normally amphipods are about 2.5 cm in size. During the exploration process of James Cameron and other landings carried out in recent years, a new species of sea cucumber and most bacteria, as well as over 68 new species of living beings, were discovered. Since the pit is at the plate boundary, it is among the assessments made by scientists that these creatures may have adapted to life at that point in the region, which is rich in minerals decently. At the same time, most fish species that live here have lifetimes that exceed centuries. It is among the discussions that these creatures have not evolved since the prehistoric period, that is, decayed and remained the same. It is a fact that research on this deepest point of the Earth has come a long way with the development of technology, but it seems that the Mariana Trench and the scientists they contain will continue to be the subject of curiosity. What are your thoughts on the Mariana Trench, the deepest point in the world? Let's meet in the comments. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.